It's a new family adventure movie hitting theaters today. The Waterman is about an 11 year old in search of a cure for his mother's illness. He learns of a mythical Waterman and embarks on a quest into the mysterious forest to find him. Take a look. The note I saw in this book says that he's immortal. I need to know more about it. Got any money? Yes, but I'm still going to need money to buy supplies. Supplies for what? I'm going to find the Waterman. Come into my office. Ooh, actor Lonnie Chavis stars in The Waterman, and Lonnie joins us now to talk more about this new film. Good morning, so good to see you. Morning, thank you for having me. We're so excited for, to have you on, and, and you filmed this movie in 2019, which probably feels like a lifetime ago, but how excited are you for people to finally be able to see it? Trust me, I am so excited for it to come. I mean, there's a movie theater that's only like 10 minutes away from me on a bike ride, and I know like, almost everybody where I live, so everybody gets to see what I'm like, my people are doing. I can't wait. Oh, that's awesome. And it kind of gives off the, the trailer, at least, some 80s adventure movie vibes, you know, The Goonies, Never Ending Story, E.T., some vibes like that. And you may be too young for some of those, but is it something for the whole family to enjoy together? Oh, 100% it is. I mean, Mr. David said that he wanted to make this movie through the eye of a child of how he would see it when he was his age. Because as you just said, I mean, he grew up watching movies like The Goonies, you know, Bridge of Terabithia, E.T., but some films that he was inspired by making this movie. So, yes, you could say it's a, it's a family movie. I love those translations there. And you're on screen, of course, with such amazing actors. Rosario Dawson, David Oyelowo, Alfred Molina. And Oyelowo actually directed this movie, his feature film directorial debut, which is amazing. So what was it like to work so closely with them? You know, you think it would be hard for somebody who's not only an actor and a director of a movie because of somebody, because of like how many things have to control, you know? I mean, that's to control the camera angles, that's to control their lines, other people's lines, their makeup, his makeup. I mean, there's just a bunch of things to manage. But Mr. David had a grip on all of them. I mean, he did everything smoothly, patiently. He was always considered for everybody else. And he was able to work with anybody on the set. I mean, he gave a play out to everybody when they needed something. He was definitely considerate. Yeah, he's an and actor's director, I would guess. Mm -hmm. And he put love and a passion to every single detail. And then when it came to Mr. Zario, me and her had actually built a friendship throughout the entire movie. I mean, I mean, it's like there was real chemistry behind the scenes and real love put into the movie, especially during the making. I mean, me and Mrs. Cesario would laugh between like every single take about the dumbest things possible. <laughs> I mean, we'd be like, oh, look, there's a bird. Or we'd be like, oh, look, your lips are chapped. I mean, I love Mrs. Cesario. She's one of the sweetest people you've ever met. Well, I love that, too. And many people, of course, are going to recognize you from your work on the hit show, This Is Us, playing young Randall Pearson, one of my favorite shows, by the way, I don't miss a week. So what has that whole experience been like for you? You can definitely say that I've grown up with Randall throughout the, uh, throughout the years. Yeah, I guess you could say I've grown up with Randall throughout the years. We had to learn about the same things at the same time. I mean, I had, to, uh, I had trouble with racism growing up at the same time as, as Randall did. So on the screen, when you, when you watch me uh, playing in This Is Us, you definitely see not acting. You can see real emotion. Oh, and real issues, too. I, I do love the show and how it could parallel to you, and it's been so fun watching you grow up on screen like that. Lonnie Chavis, thank you so much for joining us, and best of luck with this new film that's out today. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much, and our thanks also to RLJE Films for help with today's interview. The Waterman is in theaters today. Looks good, Sharon.